Hi guys, this is Cyber Driver and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about a video that I just shot of a game. Um, Falcon 4.34 BMS. It's a very good game, it's a simulator. It's regarding, it's it has an F-16 uh, block uh, 52 and it's a very versatile fire and uh, this fire is operated by almost 40 air forces around the world and today I'm going to uh, start a fighter sweep mission uh, in this game and I'm going to show you how this airplane flies the startup procedure the air combat and every aspect of the game okay so let's begin I am right now now uh, on the mission briefing screen and I'm trying to note down the IFF codes M1 which is 13 M2 which is 3514 M2 does not change it is a unique code of an airplane M3 F4 3 6 4 these codes are very necessary uh, because if these codes uh, are not integrated into the IFF when you're flying a mission you might get blue on blue kill so it's very necessary to note down uh, these codes okay so I have not out these codes and um, yeah moving on to uh, payload okay yeah, I have six MRAMs. Okay. Okay, saving the mission. Okay. Now let's take off. Ramp. Okay. Let me tell you guys, this game is really very interesting. Falcon 4 BM is one of my favorite uh, software, one of my favorite flying simulators. And I always have a dream that if I get an opportunity I'll fly a real time F-16 because this game has made me learn to fly a real F-16 okay now
we're in the game we're in the cockpit and let's start up the airplane and okay Okay, let's close the canopy. And okay, in left hard point on, right hard point on, FCR on, air conditioner on, air source on. Okay, this is the right uh, console. This portion of the cockpit is called the right uh, 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 the right console. And now I'm going to turn on the oxygen regulator. Okay. Oxygen regulator. Okay. Now what else do I have to do? Okay, now I'm going to set the fuel quantity selection to external links. Landing lights on. <laughs> oh, sorry. GHCM is on. Master fuel, uh, sorry. IFF set to low. Standby. It's very necessary before you do it before takeoff. Okay, anti collision lights on. Master lights on. Uh, electric power switch to battery. Okay, a UHF radio set set to both on one full, calm to full, miscellaneous sound full, uh, radio frequency set to preset, threat volume set to full. Okay, flight control system set to test. Okay. Warning. Gamma. Counter. Cap. Flare. Low. Okay. Lock. Okay. Now we also have to check the. Uh, what do you see? Yeah. Okay. Probe heat check. Okay. Oxygen fire detect check. Okay, now I have to switch to main power. Okay, okay, now I have to switch on the jet fuel starter to second. Okay. Okay, my engine is up and running. I do that. I turn on the systems like MFD, had a data link. Okay, rest of the system. Okay, now it has hit 22%. Now I will do idle detent. Okay, let's do the detent. And yeah, look, and now notice as I have done. Uh, I'll detain my RPM has about to move it is going to rise up to 60% and then all the systems are going to turn on and your display is on okay now I'm going to um, turn on the parking brakes so the aircraft does not move down the runway by itself. Turn on the RWR radar warning receiver. Set it as a like. Okay. Test it. 
pressing the launch button. So I may know it's working. Now test the R WR system itself. System is go. Okay. Alright, now press the bit built in test button and set the uh, air combat mode to the CRM. Okay. Okay, now let's use the ATC commands. Uh, I'm going to tell the ground crew to remove chocks so that I can move the airplane. Okay, now I'm going to press the EPU button. I'm going to hold the EPU generation button and then tell the ground crew to remove the EPU pin so that when I need the EPU and emergency power unit in case I have uh, power, main power, so I get the emergency power. Okay, now let's do the time compression so that the INS gets aligned as soon as it reaches 4.0. Okay, my radar running receiver is up and warmed up. Is running and warmed up. Okay, now I'm going to switch the uh, inertial navigation system to normal. Now I am going to do the FAC fault avionics check and my fault page is clear. Okay, press the master crush button as well. Okay, and I'm going to turn on my electronic warfare system and set it for chaff dispenser. Okay, here's one, here's two, here's three. Okay, all systems are on. Jammer, missile warning system, jammer, RWR. Okay, I'm going to turn on the ECM as well. Okay. Oh, now I'm going to set, press the return key, okay, now I'm going to turn on the data link, I press the continue on the MFD, uh, 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 FCR page, then I'm going to press the IFF out for, okay, okay, now I press the IFF key, press zero, I guess now press enter then press this sequence to integrate the all the rest of the flights that will be in the air and I'll coordinate with them one one two one three one oh no no three one is my flight okay this is correct uh, I'm gonna press four one yeah okay five one okay press enter IFF is go. Sorry, data link is go. Okay. Okay, now what do I have left to do? Um, Entry flight is done. List. Okay. Zero. Okay, no, no, no. List IFF. Oh, it's a backup. I have to turn it on. IFF. I have to turn the uh, backup to UFC. Yeah, yeah this. Uh, yes, now it's on. Okay, now I have to enter the IFF codes. Okay. The first one I'm going to enter is M1. 1, 3. 5 1 is the code. Okay. 3, 5, 1, 4 is the unique code. Oh, it's in the wrong place. Okay, now I have to press 2, 3, 5, 1, 4, enter. Okay, now I have to change the mark of 3. Okay, um. Now it's not working, I'm ready to do it again. And two six four. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, now oh sorry for that. Then we turn on the mode seven. It's out. Yeah, it's now it's lit. So then my IFF answers to the plane where I'm going to send the IFF frequency to my airplane. Okay. Now I have turned on all the IMF codes. 
Oh, no. IFF codes. Okay. Now I'm going to set the steer point to two. And com one, I'm going to send the array of frequency. Uh, okay. Very frequency set to two so that I can control the Weasel one, four ship, F 16s, ready for departure. Weasel one one. Weasel one four ship F sixteens. Request taxi. Good morning, Weasel one. You are number one for departure. Taxi in hold short runway zero eight. Yaw on ground. Turn off the parking. Okay. So final check. And yeah, these are my wingman. Okay. Oh, these are my amrams. Okay, this is my airplane, F-16, C Block 52, gray airplane, and very potent fire. Okay, okay, so let's increase the throttle. Oh no, brake is off, okay. No, let's increase the throttle. Notice as I'm increasing the throttle, the fuel flow indicator is increasing to 1400 pounds when my aircraft is moving. Okay. Now let's see all the aircraft. And one final check for RWR because very important system. If your warning receiver, radar warning receiver is not working, then you're a sitting duck. Okay. Let's move my airplane to the whole short line all the way. Okay. Yeah. My airplane has been moved to the whole short line. And okay, now I have to change the radio frequency so that I can contact the different crew in an air control traffic tower that controls the takeoff of an airplane. So let's switch it to three, and I'm going to press enter, and then I'm going to contact UTC ready for departure. Okay. Ready for departure. Okay, this will need to position and hold the runway. I'm going to hold the runway. Okay, I'm going to do final checks. I'm doing ch I'm checking the elevators. Okay. My seat is not armed because you arm it once you're airborne. Okay, everything seems to be perfect. Okay, now mm, the array seems to be clear. Okay, uh, uh, <coughs> now I'll just wait. I'll just do it one more time. Maybe they give me the permission and do the time card rush. Oh, and I'm clear to take off. I'm clear to take off. Okay. Now I'm going to move our airplane to the runway, and I'm going to take off. Okay, now I'm going to so I have to switch to another channel so that I take off. And this is one headache that we have in real flying that you have to be in contact with all the radio and all the radio frequencies. So your job is done perfectly. Now I'm going to switch it to four <coughs> or either three. Let's see. I have aligned my aircraft to the runway. And okay. Um I have to press four or no I I have not just press four. Weasel. Ship, F ready for okay. Okay, now I'm clear to take off. Now I'm going to press forward and press enter and then move my aircraft down to the runway. Okay. 
I'm going to hit the brakes, increase the throttle, and then release the brakes. Yeah. Now, switch off the pedal so it does not yaw a lot. Okay, this is my aircraft. Wow, it's on burners. Okay. Whoa, 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 it's going off the runway. Okay, okay. Now it's airborne. Gear up. Okay. Now I have to contact the tower and report that like airborne. Weasel. Oh no, it's airborne. not. Four. Weasel. One one. Unable. Uh, airborne. Weasel. One. Airborne. Okay, now it's correct. Airborne. Weasel, one, okay, now I have to align my aircraft with the waypoint. But first, I'm going to reduce the throttle. Okay, now. Reduce it to military, full military thrust. Okay. Now I'm going to set my uh, uh, AMRAM. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, here's my wingman. He's also your boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I have set the radio frequency. I just phrase it and then change the counter frequency again because my. Uh, uh, wingman did not respond, he should respond. The channel for <coughs> the wingman is 15. Zeta I just clear it and F press 15. And I enter. Okay. Satan 1, Poonsang Tower, position and hold. Okay, uh, what else do I have to do? Okay. I've changed the channel of YouTube to 5. Still. Weasel, one, I don't know why it's not working. Leave X command. I'm going to tell Felix that I am ready to attack. One, ready to attack. Okay. Yeah, the EMX has Challenge responded. One, be advised. Enemy aircraft launch activity okay. detected. Bullseye two, nine, nine, one, three, one. Chalice, one, ready to attack. Attack. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to change the calm to frequency again. So that... I can see if I can contact my human. They're not responding. Okay. Now, um, Chalice, I'm going to switch the command to six. Command to six is two, tactical. Nine, eight, one, two, now, let's see. If they respond. Weasel. Uh, no, they're not. Hmm. Oh, I have to arm my C. I forgot. And turn the IFF one, one, to normal. Yeah. Okay. Weasel, one, Chalice, one, engage, leave the scene, two ships, four, five, six, five, six, Weasel, one, two, weapons free, Weasel, ready spike, no response one, here. Weasel, 
Okay. Let's see what else do I have to do. Weasel one, Dallas one, engage MiG nineteen, two ship, bullseye zero okay. six five five five. I don't know. I'm just trying my best to contact. Maybe it's my fault. I did not note the radio frequency in the briefings page. I have to integrate the radio frequency according to the briefing page. Maybe that is going to work. Okay. Jealous one weasel. One okay, one I requested one the AMX to tell me the picture, but the weasel, AMX one, has one, told me that the picture is clear. clear. Okay, I'll just proceed on the runway. Oh, sorry, yes. I'll just, I'll just proceed on my uh, route to normal mission. Okay, I'm doing it again weasel, one, two, one, to three. see if. Can contact my teammates. Weasel one, but there is one, no engage MiG 19, okay. two ship. Bullseye zero, seven, zero, five, okay. five. Okay, now I'm going to do time compression so that my time does not get wasted in traveling. Yeah, I'll do the time compression so I can reach my midpoint quickly. Since it's a simulator, so this is very convenient for you. Okay, I can also see four air airplanes flying above me, Weasel, one, and they're friendly. And then I'm just Zero, getting the altitude. Seven, five, five, um, Weasel, one, let's see. One, engage, MiG two ship. Yeah, five, these Zero, are my friendlies, seven, five, since five, they're five, above 30,000 feet. 30,000 feet above one, sea level, engage, so they're MiG generating contrails. Okay, so okay. Wow, this is a very fine view. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do pressure again. Uh, yeah, that's my waypoint to, I'm about to reach it. And... Now I'm going to switch to waypoint three. Engage MiG nineteen two ship bullseye zero nine five five zero. Weasel one Dallas one engage MiG nineteen two ship bullseye zero nine five four nine. Or start. Switch to waypoint four. No 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 waypoint three. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Now I'm doing the IFF scan. So I scan all the enemies in the 40 nautical miles radar range. So far, they're all our friendlies. Okay. Um. Mm. I'm going to freeze for a moment so that I s turn on my targeting bar for air right now because it's very essential for F-16 to have an external IRST pod mounted on it, especially when doing air to air mission. Otherwise, in all the missions, F-16 requires an IRST pod because it's very necessary in modern warfare to have a visual picture of an airplane or uh, or vehicles on ground. Okay, and I'm going to. Go on in your craft and switch it to the air to air. Oh, there are my phonies. There are already flying 30,000 feet in my seat. No, that's not going to be a problem. Okay. Okay. Weasel, one, two, weapons free. Weasel, weasel, one, Dallas, one, one engage, MiG 19, weasel, one, 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 zero, five, five, four. Like three, 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 three. Weasel, one, activate radar. Okay, I'm just giving them the random commands if they follow or they do weasel, not follow. One, close up formation. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to freeze for a moment.
I will see what needs to be done. I'm sick and tired of the bush, yeah, I'm ready to return it to Turkey. Yeah, I'm just going to get 15 again. Okay. Okay. Weasel, one, Dallas, one, yeah. one, 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 so that I find the enemies and I'm going to take a compression of this one. Now, um... Weasel, one, Dallas, one, engage, 319, two ship, bullseye, one, zero, five, five, six. Okay. Cat, flare. Weasel, one, Dallas, one, engage, MiG-19, two ship, bullseye, one, zero, five, five, four. I have crossed the waypoint three, now I'm going to waypoint four. Now let's see if I can find the enemies. So that I can proceed to beer point five. Um, yeah. It's very important when we you run an aircraft fire jet during a uh, mission or even in a combat mission. When your aircraft is not in a combat, you don't need to move. Uh, maneuver like a real fire jet or do intense maneuvering. You can just do normal maneuvering to like cover shot me. So, Weasel, yeah, one, that's an outside one, view from my airplane. Okay, I am carrying six M rounds. Yeah, uh, yeah. an excellent view. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do time compression once again. Weasel, one, Dallas, one, engage, MiG-19, two ship, bullseye, okay. one, zero, zero, four, nine. Weasel, one, Dallas, one, engage, um. MiG-19, two ship, bullseye, one, zero, zero, five, one. Okay, and I'm going to log this aircraft because it did not show the IFF sign. No, it's a friendly. It's a friendly. Yeah. It's a friendly. And I'm going to do the tank compression once again. And I'm going to do the IFX scan one more time. To see if I have enemies. Wow, this one will also fall. Okay. 
There's one more thing that one can do to cross-reference the tadpoles that appear on your FCR. You can cross-reference them with the RWR. If the RWR is showing uh, 16, 19 degree in front of you, and there's also a tadpole that is in, in the center of the uh, FCR page and is 90 degree ahead of you, so it means it's going to be an F-16 aircraft. Now you're going to lock one more airplane and ask Dallas the AVAX for confirmation. No, no, it's friendly. Five, five, two, okay. Four, I also have TGV so I can use the TGV one, to cross reference the airplane. And I have locked. Okay. Now. I'm going to see my wingman, where they are they, or oh, they two are very far behind, but it's okay. Okay, now I'm going to do the time compression one more time. So the... Ugh. Okay. Now I see some... Uh... Make twenty threes. Night sight. Oh, sorry. Make twenty nine. Twenty nine. And the RWR. So I'll see if I can lock the bogies. They are appearing as twenty nine on my RWR. So let's see. Oh yeah, I got a bogey. Okay. So it's a MiG-23, okay. Now you're going to see me in action. I have to turn on, I have to arm my airplane, arm my missiles by turning on the master arm to on. Master arm on. Okay, first I will zoom in and confirm again. Once again, yeah, it's a MiG-23. Yeah. I'm going to turn on the master arm. Master arm on, and now I'm going to maneuver my aircraft all the way to the point. Where I, oh, I just broke the lock. Okay, I just do it one more time. Okay, um, yeah. Chalice 1, Weasel 1, 1, Group, Bullseye 2, 5, 0, yeah. 2, 3, 16,000, Declare, and it's a bandit, Wagon and one, I one, have about, about one, to fire one, a missile, one, one, friendly, three, and bandit. let's fire a missile, yeah, Fox 3, okay, <laughs> now that, that bird is dead, that bird is long gone, okay, Okay, let's see how far I can. Oh, my lock is broken again. Okay. Okay. No worries. I was. That enemy was in the range of my AMRAMs, so I'll get it. No worries. That's one brilliant thing about AMRAMs. If you lock it and the enemy is in your lethal range, you don't have to track the enemy. Now I'm going for a second lock. Let's see who it is. It's also a bandit. Okay. Oh, it's gone. It has been hit. Maybe it's the same airplane that I just saw. It's two seconds ago. Okay. Now I'm going to do the IFF scan. One more time. And there's one that does not fit in the IFF scan. And. Oh no, no. It's an F 16. Okay. Now I'm going to return. On the drill that I was flying in. Okay. There's one more. There are two more. Make 23s. Right ahead. Okay. I'm going to lock them. Jealous, one, weasel, one, 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 one
going to lock a few more. And ask the AVAX to confirm. Oh, missile launch, missile launch, missile launch. It's a mic today. Eerie, eerie, eerie. Okay, okay, it's a missile launch. Okay, I've turned on the afterburners and I'm defending. And I have also turned on uh, ECM. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, maybe I have just broken the lock of the incoming missile. And I'm good. Let's tilt there on the tail. So I'll try to fly with afterburners on and ECM on for a few more seconds. And then I'm going to maneuver all the way up. I'm going to do a split S so that I get in range. Okay, get the enemy in my warsite. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm doing the split S so that I can get them in my Borsai. Okay. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I've locked on to one. Okay, it's a MiG-29. Maybe that's the one. We fired. Okay, missiles of a Fox 3. I am now seeing a hybrid over, buddy. Okay. That's some intense maneuvering so that I can avoid the enemy. Okay, I'm diving again so that he does not fire a missile on me. Okay. I'm turning back in so that I can engage them once again. Okay. Let's knock on to one another. Oh, this one. Okay. okay. I have four M rounds left. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else I can do. I am on supersonic speed. Mach 1. But that is really one. I have my enemies in my airspace. So let's see if I can find one other. Okay. Okay. I have. Friendly. Bandit. Weasel, 1-1, one, one, Dallas, 1, okay. contacted friendly. Weasel, 1-1, Dallas, 1, SAR package on the Let's see, who do I lock on to? 1-1, Dallas, 1, be advised, threat aircraft bearing, 3 2 0 2 5 4, Okay. Weasel, 1-1, one, one, Dallas, 1, yeah. dear ball, 2, friendly, 1, uh. Wagon 1, Dallas 1, be advised. Threat aircraft bullseye 2, 7, okay, 0, 4, 0, 0 2,000. I'm going to turn out being caution. I'm going in afterburners. I'm still in afterburners. Yeah. Okay, I have to turn my afterburners because if I run out of fuel, then I have ammunition, so I will go to waste. So I have to waste my fuel and ammunition, and I have to lock this airplane. Seems like a 29. Let's lock onto it and ask the AVAX for confirmation. And let's see. Yeah, it's a MiG 21. It's a MiG 21. Okay. Uh, SF5 has launched missile upon me, so I just stay there for a couple of seconds and I can find out the smoke, the missile smoke, and then I can maneuver for 
A safe. I think I lost it. Yeah. I lost it. Dallas 1, Weasel 1, 1, Group, Bullseye 2, 9, 0, 3, 5, 6, 000. Declare! Okay. Weasel now 1, 1, Dallas 1, Dallas 1, Dallas 1, confirmed hostile. I need to say 23. Oh, I lost all my wingmen. Wagon no. 1, Dallas 1, Beaver, yeah. Weasel 1, 2, no, 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 0, 0, 6, 0, 4, 9, 2, Okay, I've locked on to... Bulldog 1, Dallas 1, be advised, Red Aircraft Bearing 2, 7, 5, 1, 7, 2,000. Mud in 1, Dallas 1, be advised, Red Aircraft Bullseye 2, 6, 0, 5, 0, 2,000. Maybe it's time for me to go maybe to find another plane. Okay, it's a buggy. It's a buggy. Now uh, it's in my range, but it's not in my lethal range. Because if you can see a small error on the scale that is just uh, beside the attitude scale, I can fire an AMRAM, but uh, it's not necessary that it's going to hit that so maybe... Oh yeah, Fox 3. Okay. Let's see if it hits the airplane. It should hit the airplane. It's in the to range. It has got into it. Okay, it's maneuvering. Okay. Okay, there you go. Well, let's see what you can do, buddy. I've got an AMRAM on you. Okay, okay. He's going for a maneuver. Okay, okay, okay. You're going for okay. Maneuver. Okay. Oh, good kill, good kill. <laughs> I got him. That's a good kill. Bulldog one, Dallas one, be advised. Threat aircraft bearing two, six, five, one, nine, three thousand. Vandal one, Dallas one, be advised. Threat aircraft bearing zero, four, zero, one, one, one thousand. Okay. Okay. Let's see where we're heading. I think we're low on fuel, so I must head back to base as soon as I can. I didn't check my fuel in here, but I haven't flying this airplane for a while. I know. How much time does it take? And how much fuel does it change here? That I just almost had. <laughs> oh, I have two tons of pounds of fuel left. Okay. So I have to head back to my area as soon as I can. Okay. So I have to die for pressure. So I can reach my base as soon as I can and land the aircraft. Okay. So I think I am. Wagon one, Dallas one, be advised. Red aircraft bearing three, two, zero, eight, nine thousand. 
One hit. One. Dallas. One. Be advised. Threat aircraft. Bullseye. Two. Seven. Five. Three. <sighs> zero. One thousand. I must tell you that this is a similar bird flying a real F-16 rig is going to be a real challenge because a fire jet of this type and has including as technology is not very easy to fly. It's very convenient for an enthusiast like me to say how Tyrone can be lost a similar and fly the airplane that it's really a challenge flying an F-16. However, I do know the control systems of an F-16. So I don't know it's my dream, but if I get to fly an F-16, wow, it's going to be great. Okay, so I'm still in the time compression and heading off to my home base. Let's see if we can reach there as soon as we can. I have reached to reply for Okay, replay. Oh, I have reached bingo fuel. Bingo. It's 1500 pounds of fuel left. 1600. Doesn't matter. It's 1600 or 1500. Doesn't matter. I have reached bingo fuel. Okay. Um. Wagon 1, Dallas 1, be advised. Threat aircraft full time. Now, what I'm going to do is. Okay, come on. Okay, okay, I'm near the air base. I'm just 10 miles out. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. I'm running on fumes. Oh no no no. I am still 40 miles out. Oh my god. Oh now what I'm gonna do is get some altitude so that if I even run through I have the advantage of altitude. Okay, so I have reached 30,000 feet above sea level. Oh uh, yeah, those are my country else. Okay, I'm 16 miles out. Okay. And I have 3 MRAS left. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to just put my throttle to idle and die. Yeah. Okay. Um, just freeze my game. Yeah. Contact the ground frequency. So that. Sorry, ATC. So then I can tell them that it's an emergency, but I cannot see them on my ATC command page. So I made it. Yeah, yeah, I just. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I did this inbound for landing. I should have got a different emergency, but I'm returning my EPU on so that I have the necessary electronics to command an aircraft. I have this. I have that. Okay. I'm out of fuel. And I'm diving.
Okay. All right. Altitude. Altitude. Okay. So I reached the altitude of 4,000 and I'm dropping in a menu ring so that I gain that speed where I can land my aircraft and take uh, put down my landing gear. Okay, there we go. I'm about to land. Oh, <laughs> that was a hell of a mission. Okay, my landing gears are off and my air brakes are on. And I'm losing speed. Let's see if I can make it to the runway and I can land all the way. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna crash. Oh, oh, shit. Holy shit. Okay guys, that was my mission for Falcon 4, 3.4 point, uh, uh, sorry, 4.34, yeah, and see you guys back again.